according to the EPA, our indoor environment is two to five times more toxic than our outdoor environment. In some cases, up to a hundred times more polluted than the outdoor air. So what do we do about this? Well, we can do a lot of things. You can get a HEPA high efficiency particulate air filter. You can get a negative ion generator and you could get house plants and you can diffuse essential oils. That's four, four things you can do. The house plant <clears throat> that I use, I use this house plant here. This is a snake plant or mother-in-law's tongue. This has a low light requirement. And what this plant does is that it, at the soil level, what it does is absorb VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. That's what's off-gassing from the carpets, flame retardants, benzene, formaldehyde, just stuff off-gassing from everything that's unnatural in your environment. The paint on the wall, I mean, everything is literally putting off this gas. And it can't be filtered, but it can be captured and locked in the leaves of plants. So there's a TED talk on this, and this was actually discovered by NASA because they were looking at astronauts, how to keep the air clean in a closed vessel spaceship. And so they actually found that houseplants are very effective. In some cases, like overnight, 80% of the VOCs are removed. So the key is plants with broad leaves are good. It also has a side benefit of, of course, absorbing carbon dioxide. And it releases O2 or oxygen. So when we sleep, a lot of the time, a lot of people have their windows shut. Depending on where you live, if you live by a freeway, I'd, I'd recommend that. But if you can, keep your window shut. Never shut your window. Ever. Oxygen is vital, especially while we sleep. We're regenerating our system. So to have oxygen available that your body can grab, we're gonna, it's gonna speed up the regeneration process. Oxygen is, it's the ultimate thing, looking to ozone therapy. Having a house plant <clears throat> has two benefits. So I highly recommend getting a snake plant. Basically, any plant will do, but you wanna find one with low light requirements. And also it's good to <clears throat> wipe down these leaves because these are like solar panels, and they could get dusty. So to increase the efficiency of this working, it's best to get a paper towel every once in a while and wipe these down so that it can grab more light and work better. And uh, it's kind of cool you have a little symbiotic relationship with the plant there. The next thing I use is a negative ion generator. I get this on Amazon. I think it was like 50 bucks. What this is doing is this is putting out negative ions into the air. And the negative ions, what they do is they attach to dust particles in the air and drop them to the ground. They also electrically charge the air. So you'll notice if you're ever in a air-conditioned environment for a long time, you get tired. If you're going on a long car ride and you just have the AC running, really drains you. It's because that air is getting electrically deactivated with the AC. To get a negative ion generator is a very good idea and I run this all day, all the time. I just turn it off at night when I go to sleep because it's kind of loud, but the important thing to have while you sleep to me are a house plant and what I'm going to show you right now, a aromatherapy essential oil diffuser. So there are a lot of these essential oil diffusers. What you do is just fill this with water. The distilled water is best. Put in about four drops or so, depending on the quality of the oil. The less quality, the more drops you have to add. I switch it up. So I'm doing like citrusy, like orange and lemon lately. 
but usually I'll alternate between lavender and rosemary. And what this does is it does two things. It structures the air because these, these plant oils are very magical for our moods. And when you actually diffuse into the air, what you're doing is you're increasing the moisture in the room. This is a very multi-layered way to improve the quality of air in your room with a house plant, native ion generator, and a aromatherapy essential oil diffuser. I would run a HEPA air filter intermittently. You don't need to run it all the time. Maybe once or twice a week and that'll suck out all the dust, all the stuff floating in the air, all the particulate matter. For the HEPA filters it's not really necessary to run them 24-7. But I would, would recommend that with the negative ion generator. And the aromatherapy diffuser, of course, that's up to you. I just I run it while I sleep. If you had a stressful day, it's really beneficial because that all the oils they affect our moods. Look into rosemary diffusing that. They found that it actually improves our memory by about 60% just by smelling it. These are some little tricks I've learned over the years to improve the air quality in your environment. The International Agency for Research on Cancer and the World Health Organization have found that 80% of all cancers are attributed to environmental rather than genetic factors. Our exposure to carcinogenic chemicals, 80,000 of them about roughly in the system, heavy metals, plasticizers, hormones, antibiotics, vaccines, pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, larvicides, all these things they accumulate in the body so it's important to stay on a detoxification lifestyle how deep you want to go with it is up to you it's a very personal decision based on kind of where you want to go in life it's very smart especially if you're living in city areas to deaccumulate all of this stuff this is one way to keep the air quality in your space at a high level. If you're just gonna do one of these things, just go to the store, go to Craigslist, and get a house plant and put that in your space because that will make the biggest difference. If you can, do all of them. Please comment below, subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and many more to come.